At this window, we're going to click on the install on this computer. So I'm just going to click on this button here. And as soon as I do that, the installer is going to determine my system requirements here. And then I'm presented with this window here, which allows me to expand. It says click to open and configure. So there's a couple new components here. For now, I'm going to just skip this AutoCAD Civil 3D part and just take a look at these other things here. It says Autodesk recap, visualize, clean, and organize your reality capture data in a powerful preparation environment. I might leave it checked in just to check it out. The next one it says Autodesk 360, desktop preparation for collaboration for the desktop. Earlier versions of Autodesk 360 will be updated. So I'll go ahead and expand that and take a look and we can see that this option here is already checked in and I'll probably just leave that at default. So I'll go ahead and collapse that one. Now I want to take a look at the Autodesk AutoCAD Civil 3D 2015. I'm going to expand that. And I'm just going to take a look at what we got here. We got Autodesk, Storm, and Sanitary Sewers. Now as far as what you need to check in or not check in, usually your professor will know. Um, I usually check everything in just in case, you know, I might need it. So I'm just going to scroll down here and take a look at what we got. I'm pretty sure that I don't need these other language packs. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down some more here. Configurable folders. I'm going to leave all of that at default. Uh, definitely want my express tools. I'm going to go ahead and check in service pack. I'm going to go ahead and click on add just to see what I get here. It's one that I have to download, so I'm probably not going to do anything with that. Let me check in custom just to see what I get here. I might use visual list, but like I said, you know, what you check in or don't check in is really totally dependent upon what you think you might use. So I'm just making sure that I install everything in case I might use it. So that should get everything in there. I am a pretty heavy user of Civil 3D, so I'm just making sure that I have all of my options here checked in. And it looks like I do. I could install a service pack now or I could do it later. Um, you don't have to do it now. You can definitely install it later. Um, some people like to do it now because, you know, it's just convenient. Um, sometimes it can cause complications during the install. Like if it doesn't download, it could take a little bit longer. For now, I'm just interested in getting it in there. And then I'll download the service pack later and install it later once I know that I have it downloaded and installed. So I think I'm done with configuring these options here, so I'm just going to collapse this. And once I'm done configuring everything, I can go ahead and click on this install button. Before I click on install, I'm going to take a note here of where it's going to go on my computer. It's going to place things on my C drive in program files into Autodesk. And it says that disk space 12.5 gigabytes required, and I have about pretty close to a terabyte available. So that's all good, and then I'll just go ahead and click Next here. And once I click that Install button, it's going to go ahead and install things. And right now it's saying that it's going to take about 3 hours and <laughs> 7 minutes. And it says 4 megabytes of about 8 gigabytes downloaded. So I guess, you know, this new installer, this is a little bit different from last year. You're able to download it and then install it separately. It looks like here you have to do it all in one shot. Once it is done downloading and installing, you should see a screen that looks like this. You'll have a finish button on the lower right corner. So I'm just going to pan down and just take a look at all of this. So everything seems to have a green checkbox next to it. We also have some little notes up here. It says the installer files are located in this directory here. These files are required for future maintenance of installed products. Ensure that they remain available either in the current location or in a backup directory. So it's kind of nice that it tells us where these installer files went to. So let's just say that you're running a little bit short on space on your C drive. This may be something that 
You can move to a backup drive, which might, you know, save you a lot of space. If we saw earlier, the installer was quite huge, so we can definitely move these files off. So I'm pretty much done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And now it's mentioning that you must restart your system for the configuration changes to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart later. So I'm probably going to go ahead and click yes to this. When it comes back up, I'll restart the video recording.